Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can skip creating the warehouse shipment and register the pick. Even you have the required shipment and required pick turned on on the location in Dynamic 365 Business Central. So on this location, silver location, you can see I have the required shipment and the required pick and also being mandatory turned down. And so why do I want to ship from the sales order directly to skip creating the warehouse shipment? Sometimes when you create a solution for your clients, uh, maybe the clients are using a point of sale location as the same location of their back office warehouse location, like they have to create a warehouse shipment and register pick. But in the point of sale, it could be, uh, let's say you have a Shopify store and you are using the Shopify POS, and then you have an extension installed in Business Central, which does the automation to retrieve the orders from Shopify and automatically create a sales order, release the sales order, and post the sales order. However, this Shopify POS location is sharing the same location as the your regular warehouse location, where you have to create a warehouse shipment and pick. So you but you want to have different behavior for this Shopify POS location, even it's sharing the same location, you want to skip creating the warehouse shipment and you only want to ship from the sales order directly because if you are doing that way, you are able to have the automation to post the sales order automatically for you instead of creating the warehouse shipment. So how can we do that? And so I do have another location. I only have the require ship and the require pick turned down. I don't even have the beam mandatory turned down. So let's say you have these two different setup. You have a one location, you have the require ship, require pick turned down, but without the beam mandatory. Another location, you have the require pick, require shipment and require pick turned down. And also you have the beam mandatory. So let's see how we can post from the sales order directly for these two locations. So first, let's just create a sales order. And in this sales order, I will just use the blue location, then uh, not those two locations I mentioned. So you could see because on the customer card, I set up the default location as a blue location. So that's why it's automatically populated on the sales header. So on the line, I'm just going to use this uh, item 1000, and then I'm just going to put a quantity 10. Because on this blue location, if we look at the location card for the blue location, I do not have anything under the warehouse fast tap turned down. So you could see they're all turned off. So it doesn't use any warehouse document. But on the sales line, you could see for this location, I have, after I enter the quantity, I have the quantity to ship on the sales line populated automatically. The reason of this is because I'm under the sales and the receivable setup. So there's a setup which says the default quantity to ship. So I have this setup as the remainder. So in this case, because I entered quantity as 10, so my remainder is still 10. So then the quantity to ship on the sales line is automatically populated with 10, which is the same as the quantity I entered. But if I just create another sales order for the green location, for the green location, I have the required shipment and the required pick turned on. So I still use this customer. And then on, and, and then on the header, I'm just going to change the location from blue to the green location. So then I'm going to enter the line still for this bicycle and enter the quantity 10. So in this case, the quantity to ship did not populate automatically. The reason of this is because you have the warehouse shipment and you have the required pick turned down. So the system will assume you're gonna create a, your warehouse shipment and register a pick. So it will not be posted from the sales line uh, directly. That's why the system, even you have in the sales and receivable setup, you have that setup quantity to ship to default to the remainder, then it doesn't automatically populate this. It just disregards this. But what if like you just uh, manually enter the quantity to, to ship to 10, the same as the quantity on the line, then it gives you a warning. So it says the warehouse shipment is required for this line. The entered information may be disregarded by the warehouse activities. 
you just click on OK and just continue to post to see if you are able to post it. Actually, in this case, if you just post a, if you if you post a shipment, it will allow you to post directly from the sales order because after you enter the quantity to ship on the line, okay. So it allowed you to post from the sales order directly. So this is one way. Like uh, so, think about this scenario. Like we we have a Shopify POS and we want to automatically uh, post. From the sales order, we don't want to create a warehouse shipment. So in this case, for this location, green location, you have the required shipment and the required pick turned down. Uh, you only need to do a custom for this uh, the creation process for the sales order. When you automatically create a sales order from the Shopify point of sales sales channel, then you just need to do a little custom to automatically populate the quantity to ship on the line, then you will be able to automatically post from the sales order directly. So for the other location, for the uh, silver location, let's create another sales order. For the silver location, still use this customer, 10,000, and then we're gonna change on the header to be silver. And on the line, we're still gonna enter this item and enter the quantity 10. So remember, because we um, like have the require shipment, require pick, and also the be mandatory turned down. So you can see it just disregarded the sales and receivable setup for the default quantity to ship. So it doesn't populate the quantity to ship automatically. But we're gonna auto we are gonna manually enter this quantity to ship. And also another thing you could see once you enter the item number on the line, as long as this item, if you go to the bin content, because you also have the bin mandatory turned on on this location, silver location. So as long as you have this item, you have bin content. So you see, I still have 980. Then this bin will be automatically populated here because on this location also selected uh, so if we look at this location and there's a there's a default bin setup that default bin setup is selected as a default bin selection as a fixed bin so as long as you have bin content in that bin it will automatically populate on the line so this bin code is automatically populated and we all we also need to populate the quantity to ship on the line you will also get a warning but you just need to disregard it so in this location, those two requirements for you to be able to post from the sales order directly is like you have to populate the quantity to ship and also you have to populate the bin code in order to post from the sales order. Now let's try to post the sales shipment. Click on OK. And you see it's got posted. And this quantity to ship becomes the quantity shipped. So then just to summarize this, if you do have to share the location, uh, like in the back office, you are using this location, but you need to create a warehouse shipment and register the pick, but then you have a Shopify POS or another, uh, any other point of sale, which use the same location, and you need to create a automation. You need to have the automation for that point of sale location to automatically retrieve the order and automatically post the sales order then you do need to do a custom based on your location setup. If you have on the location setup, you only have the required shipment and required pick turn on, you don't have the bin mandatory turn on, you don't have the directed put and pick, uh, directed pick and put away turn on, then you just need to customize that location for the point of sale, uh, the sales order created from the point of sale channel to automatically populate quantity to ship then you will be able to post from the sales order automatically. If you, on the location card, you have the required shipment, required pick turned down, you also have the bin mandatory, mandatory turned down, and you don't have the directed put and pick away turned down. So in that case, you need to, auto, you need to populate the quantity to ship and also populate the bin code on the line. And you need, uh, in that case, the bin code need to take from the bin content, you, uh, you, you have the bin content for the item. So 
after you do this a little bit custom, then you will be able to automatically post a sales order for that point of sale sales channel. So um, yeah, so once you have this uh, custom uh, in place, then you will be able to share the location. Like uh, you can have two different behavior for the regular sales orders created from the back, up, back office, then you can just uh, create a warehouse shipment and register pick. And then for the uh, sales orders created from the point of sale, then you can post from the sales orders directly. Okay, hope this helpful. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.